all dairy farmers place a high priority in getting their cows in calf. And almost all Australian dairy farmers use artificial insemination, or AI. Success in AI depends on good heat detection. This is because good heat detection leads to the correct timing of insemination, which is critical to getting cows in calf. If we don't inseminate a cow at the correct time during her heat cycle, it's unlikely that she'll be able to conceive successfully. Poor heat detection and incorrect timing of AI is one of the major causes of infertility in cattle. This leads to poor reproductive efficiency, longer calving intervals and disrupted calving patterns, fewer replacements, a loss of production and lost income for your farm. The in-calf program run by Dairy Australia estimates that each missed heat cost dairy producers $200. If farmers observe just one more cow on heat per day, this amounts to 1400 bucks per week in reduced costs and a tighter calving pattern. All staff on a dairy farm should be trained in heat detection. It is, however, recommended that one person be made specifically responsible for this very important task. It's also recommended that the responsible person spends 15 to 20 minutes twice a day, in the morning and in the afternoon, observing cows in their normal environment to check for signs of heat. It's important that heat detection observation is not done during periods of other activity, such as milking, feeding or herding cattle towards the dairy. The best time to observe cows on heat is when they are relaxed in their normal paddock environment. These times tend to coincide with the cooler times of the day and farmers should be aware that cows rarely show strong heat signs in the hottest part of the day. High producing cows or cows in a state of negative energy balance may also be difficult to detect on heat and require extra attention. It's important that the person doing the heat detection can see all the cows in the herd. Cows are more likely to exhibit strong mounting behaviour if they have solid ground or pasture underfoot. Mounting causes a large amount of pressure on feet and legs and animals are unlikely to do this if they are lame or unsure of their footing. Slippery concrete is an example of a surface that cows would be less likely to show signs of heat. Having good methods of cow identification is important when doing heat detection. These can be ear tags, freeze brands or RFID tags. It's vital to be able to individually identify cows from a distance. There are a number of behavioural changes or signs that will indicate that a cow is on heat. The primary sign is a cow that stands still to allow other cows to mount her. This is called standing heat. It's important to understand that it's the cow being mounted that's on standing heat, not the cow doing the mounting. The onset of standing heat is linked to critical hormone changes. At this time, the release of luteinizing hormone does two things. It causes the cow to stand to be mounted by other cows, and it provides the signal to the ovary to prepare the egg for ovulation to occur approximately 24 to 30 hours after the onset of standing heat. This timing link between onset of standing heat and ovulation gives the best indicator when to AI the cow. This will ensure that a viable population of sperm is ready and waiting in the uterus when the egg is released from the ovary. The observation of standing heat is a predictor of when a cow will ovulate. The recommendation is to AI a cow 4 to 12 hours after the start of standing heat. Research tells us that the majority of cows begin standing heat during the night. If Australian farmers practice once a day AI after morning milking, then most cows will fall into this crucial 4 to 12 hour window. Alternatively, farmers can AI cows seen on standing heat in the morning that afternoon and cows on heat in the afternoon can be AI'd the following morning. This is known as the AM-PM rule. Studies have shown that once a day AI will not result in substantially lower conception rates. This is the practice often followed by Australian farmers. 
The length of time that a cow is on standing heat varies between 4 to 24 hours, but the average is approximately 8 to 12 hours. There are also a number of secondary signs of heat that can be displayed by cows, and these secondary signs are often displayed before, during and after standing heat. For this reason, secondary signs of heat are not reliable predictors of when a cow is going to ovulate. Secondary signs of heat are helpful for identifying cows, but not as accurate as the observation of standing heat. Some secondary signs of heat include cows that mount other cows, laying their head over the back of companions or licking the backs of other cows, holding ears erect and headbutting other cows, sniffing other cows or allowing other cows to sniff her, pacing up and down fence lines or showing general restlessness. The lips of the vulva become pink and swollen and often a clear mucus is discharged. The cow may not enter the dairy in the usual order or not let milk down as usual. Also, cows may have lower milk production on days when they are on heat. The hair on the tail head becomes ruffled or there is mud on her flanks from the hooves of mounting cows. Generally, in a typical Australian paddock environment, the cows that are on heat will form a very noticeable sexually active group which stands slightly apart from the rest of the herd. It's very important to observe this sexually active group closely to distinguish the cows that are seen on standing heat. Allowing cows to mingle freely with other cows that are on heat helps to increase mounting activity. A good way to do this is to write all the numbers of the active group down on paper and then circle the numbers of the cows seen on standing heat, allowing others to mount. It's important to keep good records for heat detection, as well as records of which cows have been inseminated and which bulls used for the AI. This recording will help to identify which cows may require veterinary attention later. Heat detection aids can be a vital tool to assist farmers with the task of heat detection, but should not replace personal observation of the herd. The majority of Australian farmers will use heat detection aids. This practice is strongly recommended. There are a variety of heat detection aids available, from tail paints to patches and now sophisticated electronic methods or activity monitors using pedometers. If using heat detection aids, it's important to follow the manufacturer's instructions for effective application. The most successful heat detection programs will incorporate the effective use of heat detection aids and a good dose of common sense. To summarise, good heat detection is one of the most important aspects of breeding cows by artificial insemination. If heat detection is poor, it's likely that both submission rates and conception rates will be affected, resulting in poor fertility in your herd. By paying close attention to heat detection, Australian farmers will see the benefits in the profitability of their farms, with more calves born and higher milk production in the future.